Welcome to the latest episode of Worthy of Rescue. This podcast takes the listener on a transformative journey. It shows our identity is a tapestry woven from numerous voices that surround us, family, friends, the media, and authoritative figures. These voices direct us towards a virtuous moral path or down a false trajectory of survival. Often, we spiral out of control until we find ourselves unrecognizable. Today, I want to speak upon rescue again. As we did in the last episode, we talked about being delivered from the dominion of darkness. In Colossians 1, verses 13 and 14, it says, He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So what does that look like, having been redeemed by Christ? A few weeks ago, I found a poem that my dad wrote decades ago. Um, He passed away in 1996, but his poem was about yesterday. I've shut the door on yesterday, its sorrow and mistakes, and now I throw the key away to seek another room, to furnish it with hopes and smiles and every springtime bloom. I've shut the door on yesterday and thrown the key away. Tomorrow holds no fear for me since I have found today. The only word I would add to his poem is the last sentence. Tomorrow holds no fears for me since I have found Christ today. What does that look like? Walking in forgiveness after having laid down your life at the foot of the cross, repenting, turning away from the direction you were going into a new direction. In Isaiah 43, verse 18, it says, Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Or Paul, in the book of Hebrews, in chapter 10, he was talking to the church, saying, Our sins are washed away, and we are made clean, because Christ gave his own body as a gift to God. He did this once for all time. And if you look further down in Hebrews 10, it says, Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. So now you've been forgiven, you get a new heart, you get a new mind. You now are given a deposit of the Holy Spirit inside of you to lead you into truth and to lead you into life, eternal, yes, and eternity, but it begins here and now. So in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, it says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. The Holy Spirit inside of you is going to start leading you into that direction because you have received a new heart and a new spirit inside of you. Let's look in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh... I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So if you're crucified with Christ, you're no longer living the life You've given yourself to the Lord. Let Him, through the Holy Spirit, through the Word of God, let Him mold you and make you who He truly created you to be. Let His plans and purposes spring forth in your life. For there's no one else made on the earth who is like you. There never will be again. So, my dear listener, remember that you are worthy of rescue and you are pursued by God.